Hey everybody, welcome to a whole new year of game time goodness right here on YouTube. I'm Kyle, and uh, yeah, happy 2018. What better way to kick off some new videos for this year, a uh, nice new refreshed channel, than by doing uh, Sega Week. This is uh, something that's been kind of popular in my channel in the past. We've done PlayStation Week and uh, two Atari Weeks, and uh, it's Sega's turn. So, what better way to kick off Sega Week than by taking a look at the At Games Sega Genesis Flashback. Not to be confused with some of their other models. They come in a white box, and they aren't shaped like uh, any previous Sega Genesis. They're kind of more of a round shape. In fact, the very first video that I did on this Game Time channel was taking a look at uh, one of those Genesis, um, I don't want to call them flashbacks, they were more of a, what's that, classic game console. Um, so check that out if you want, it's pretty pretty old and pretty bad, so it may not be a good thing. How far we've come. I actually haven't got, uh, I haven't picked up any of the Genesis uh, models since that very first one. Uh, I've been wanting to get one in the previous year, but then I found out they were going to be doing uh, an actual, like, good one. HD model is going to include some Master System and Game Gear games uh, with this. So I'm like, well, I'll just wait for that. You might as well, uh, if you're going to go for the best, you might as well go for the best. So we're going to be doing, uh, on this part, unboxing this, kind of taking a look at the system itself, all the good stuff. And then I'm going to split the video in half in part two. We're going to plug it in and take a look at uh, the gameplay for a couple games, show uh, what games it all comes with and everything. Kind of helps keep the video shorter other than just one big long video. So, I don't think I have anything else to mention. No, I don't think I do. So, at Games, Sega Genesis Flashback, unboxing starts now. All right, for those of you that did stick around, need to see the unboxing, I'm uh, glad you stayed. So uh, a lot of people do this. I'm sure there's a lot of other channels that covered it. I do this a lot on my channel, so I'll just kind of breeze through this part. Nice little box. I actually like the box art. Nice little gold corner there. Shows you it's HD. A couple of the games that it comes with. Uh, here's uh, two, you know, wireless controllers. These are a little bit better than the some of the previous models they used. A lot of the... Uh, a lot of the crap that uh, at games and as well as some other plug and plays get is their controllers are awful so luckily with these um, 2.4 gigahertz wireless a little bit better 720p hd output you can save resume so you can have save states come back to and it does have a cartridge slot that's right you can play original sega genesis carts in this here nothing too much on that side by the way i don't think uh the 32X or Sega CD add-ons will really work with that. I'm curious to see if the Power Base Mini will work. But, maybe we'll try that for another video. That's what's on the side there. Just the At Games logo on front. And then on bottom, on the back I should say, uh, it kind of shows you 85 games. That's not 85. That's a lot less. Oh, and many more. What I do wish they would show you is, uh, I wish they would just show that they do have actual Master System and Game Gear games. I think that's going to be a little bit of a draw for people. Something a little more unique. So, let's open this bad boy up down here. Get the tape there. Do-do-do-do. Alright. What do we got here? Always like uh, some posters. With something to hang up in the game room. Sorry for the unprofessionalism. There is that. Kind of just, uh, just that. Okay, nothing too, nothing too wild here. I imagine on back we get, uh, yeah, constructions. How do I start playing? How do two-player games work? What do these buttons do? How do I do batteries? All right. How do I turn the thing on? All right, just kind of a lot of that. Same old, same old. Let's take a look at the system itself. Oh, very nice. I like it. It's shiny. It's super lightweight. A couple uh, nine pin connectors there so you can hook up original controllers to it just in case you're one that does hate the wireless controllers it comes with. Use your own. There's the cartridge slots there. Kind of nice. What's on back? HDMI and power. Nothing too much on the sides, just uh, that stuff on the bottom. Super lightweight little light there, so that should be red when it comes on. Got uh, the controllers here, 
super lightweight as well. A little bit thicker than uh, I think uh, what we're used to. Kind of like the feel of it. D-pads on that uh, um, kind of the spinny uh, rotating thing. I'm not a huge fan of that. It works well in fighting games, but uh, I wish they would just have more of the four directional instead of it all being in one. Got uh, the menu button rewind feature. Oh boy. Start. Got the six uh, button controller there. Little wireless thing there. HDMI cord. All right. Got a hundred of those now. Get the other controller out. There's the adapter it just comes with. Little pen. Nothing too special here. I doubt there's anything on bottom, but no, no other hidden treasures. So we'll do all the fun uh, size comparisons. So there's our little plug and play there's the main uh, original model one sega genesis so we'll put it uh kind of right on there so you can see oh, i'm not uh, fully connected little definitely uh quite a bit smaller doesn't have the uh the volume rocker that the original model one had just has uh, this little groove not a huge deal that's the Model 2 Genesis there, so this thing's uh, just a little bit wider, a little bit taller than that, and again, definitely lighter. So it's actually a little bit more, a little bit more Model Model 2 looking uh, size-wise, so pretty neat. I won't do the Model 3 because that's pretty small. Controller, there's the original uh, three-button controller. And a comparison with the wireless six button there. So definitely smaller. Uh, about the same thickness, to tell you the truth. And both connected there. Yeah. Oh, I mean, just uh, feels a little bit flatter. This one actually has a little bit more of a, a curve to it. So kind of like it. Kind of like it. Uh, let's see. So last thing I'm going to take a look at. Yeah. We'll be seeing some of that game in action as well. So fits right in. So it goes in pretty well. I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, last thing, uh, at games, anybody who does these plug and plays, guys, seriously, with these screws, we don't need them. Real controllers just have this thing can kind of slide out, put batteries in if you need it. Look at the Xbox controllers if you need uh, a good example. No one likes these little screws in there, so... Alright, so if you want to see some gameplay, uh, part two of this, I just kind of split the videos up. That way they're not, uh, no one video is too long. So click on the link below for the actual plug it in and gameplay and see what all the games uh, this thing has to offer. And we'll see you in that. And everybody, peace out. Take care. Happy gaming. Game on.